Okay, good. Buy in. Okay. Good. Okay, yeah. Technically, yeah, this is the last class. You can have to go to the exam. Technically, exam. Mm -hmm. okay. So, next, next Wednesday, we will have the technical exam. Okay. And the C423. Okay. And the 25 multiple choice. That's it. Good. And everybody got the exam back. Okay. So, if you do not see that, okay, please contact with the WeChat, WeChat, our WeChat. Group or the Google Classroom, I share that. Okay, good. Shall we go? And last class. For that. Oh, last class, we learned a little about the how we can develop people and how we can. What is the principles of uh, uh, how we can develop people and who is responsible for the developing people? Hmm. So then I gave an example of the high potential. Okay. So we learned about the human capital. So human capital is one of the most important source of the competitive advantage because that is related with the resource and the organic capability. Both human capital work. Okay. Here, so, so we learned about this multiple capital approach, okay, and adding to the resource based view, okay, so multiple capital approach can give us a more integrative understanding about how we can create a competitive advantage. Of course, good. And the human capital is one of the one of the one of the most important factors of the multiple capital. As well as a resource based view. Okay, good. So mm, then we got to know that the human capital is very important, the people is very important, and the how, who is responsible for developing people? Only, only just a few number of the elite? Huh? No, okay, high potential is working in Europe, or however, in general, in the US or the outside of something, okay? Mm. We technically we think everybody is responsible for developing human capital. For example, well, how you can learn something new? Somebody teach and you learn? No, I propose a very interesting principles of the learning before. Percent, twenty percent, and seventy percent. Do you remember? Ten, twenty, seventy two. Huh? Longing. Offers. Uh, what structure the long? Mm -hmm. Okay, twenty percent that longing come from the others. Logging from others. Uh -huh. And 70% of work come from your logging by we. So, who is responsible? Mm, everybody. Okay. Many years can give you a chance of a structure of classes. Okay. And then, however, so your surroundings can help you to learn something new. However, you must learn something by yourself. Technically speaking, learning offers from everywhere, anytime. Okay, so then we must take a responsibility of the learning by ourselves. Your manager must let you have a chance to learn something new. Your organization must let them have that you have a chance to learn in a classroom or more structured way, intensive way. So developing oneself, developing employees, human capital can be earned from everywhere, everywhere.
everybody. Mm -hmm. So we are responsible for that. Everybody is responsible for that. Okay, and how to develop that? Absolutely. Learning from classroom, from others, by doing. That's how we develop a human capital. Okay, then human capital. Multiple capitals, we cover purpose of the strategy. What is the purpose of the strategy management in order to create and sustain competitive advantage? That's it. Make it simple. Okay, good. And then mm, sources of the core competencies. Well, it's core competencies. Core competencies. I have. For competency, no, 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 and then yeah, case study. Okay, so we have this kind of the things. We will guide that. Formulating strategy. Uh -huh. Formulating strategy. So we learned about how not to lose. Okay, internal analysis, internal analysis. From the internal analysis, we get to know what is happening. And the internal analysis, what is what we are strength, what we are good at, what we are not good at. Okay, then let's try to make a win. Win okay from now on, we must make a winning strategy. So let's try to learn about it formulating strategy. Mm -hmm. No matter what, okay. This is our best tool to formulate a strategy. SWAT framework, SWAT mm -hmm. analysis, SWAT whatever, SWAT framework. Okay, good. So almost everybody know that the SWAT analysis, SWAT, okay, strengths, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Mm -hmm. However, uh, SWOT analysis, original form of the SWOT analysis is looks like this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, this is composed with external part. Please remember, this is external opportunity, external threat. Okay, so we scan, we monitor, and then we Cultivate the intelligence, compared to the intelligence from spine. Okay, then we get to know what is our opportunity now, what is our threat now from this analysis. Write it down. Okay, good, easy. So this is quite normal. Okay, so everybody know that. However, and another is another demand is internal. And internal strengths and internal weakness from conducting value chain analysis, value curve analysis. Mm -hmm. Then we get to know internal strengths and the internal weakness. Okay, good. Internal, mm -hmm. internal, internal strength, internal weakness, external opportunity, external threat. Okay. Good. Then now we combine these two, two by two matrix. Okay. We combine these two by two matrix. First, internal strengths by using internal strengths. How we can unleash the external opportunity? Uh -huh. We call that is a maxi, maxi strategy. How we can maximize the strengths, how we can maximize the opportunity. Maxi, maxi. Uh, and how we can how we can maximize our internal strengths, how we can maximize the external opportunity. Well, let's see. Okay. And second, how we can avoid what minimize your weakness. What is our weakness? Okay, we want to minimize that. Then we want to maximize the opportunity. Okay, because this is a minimax, minimax, okay, minimax strategy. And third, we want to maximize our strengths while we want to minimize the external threat. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Then we want to minimize the internal weakness. We want to minimize the external threat. We call this is next in axis strategy, mini axis strategy, next in mini strategy, mini mini strategy. Okay, and this is a combination of the SO strength opportunity, strength opportunity, and the weakness opportunity. Strengths, uh, strength, uh, strengths and the threat and the weakness of threat. So then we identify these four combinations of strategy. So when you complete your external and internal analysis, then you identify strengths, weakness, opportunity, and threat. Then we can formulate strategy at least four strategies. At least. Okay. However, so you can write down more strategy to do this. You can write down more strategies. You can write down more strategies. You can write down more strategies. Then gradually, you can find out the practical or the applicable or the best strategy according to the rule of the tornado. What is the what is this rule? This is. I we cannot exercise every single strategy that is identified here. So we do better to focus what we can do and what is the most impactful, what is the most effective and efficient strategy out of many. 20% of the best strategies we can choose. This is how we formulate our strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then apply this kind of the strategies in order to win. In order to win, we start with not to lose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear. Okay. Oh, easy to understand, not easy to exercise. We must be very creative. Oh, we can bring tons of thousand ideas of this. Okay. Good. Then I will show how we can use this kind of a SWOT framework in order to bring ideas. <coughs> Case of the local currency. Mm, personally, I did this project for developing and the revitalizing the Obama Champagne, Illinois community. Obana Champagne, yeah, okay, so universal between Obana Champagne. Obana Champagne is located in the rural area, middle of nowhere, home here, we build it. And however, we have only a big campus. This is a large play area. No, nothing. Home field, in home land, in field, one body of the body, one okay, nothing. Uh -huh. However, we have a campus now. We have a campus now and Situation is like this. Problem. Okay, so one of the most important things is identify the problem. Problem is although Champagne Urbana residents get incomes from the community, mm -hmm. many of the Urbana Champagne residents is making money within the community from the college, from the business within the Urbana Champagne community. However, uh, they consume as non local businesses like Walmart, Amazon. Mm -hmm. They never, they rarely use that the local businesses. Okay, who have a little concern with regard to our community economy? For example, what if you buy something at the Walmart or Target and the Walmart pay tax to the community? No, Walmart take all money from Champagne Urbana community to their headquarters. However, that is automatically moving to the Bahama Island. Zero tax. No tax. Walmart does not pay anything for tax. Hmm? Hmm? They pay money in the small town and they do not return it back to the small town. Okay, something wrong. Right? Do you think that that is, that is that is not happening in China now? Is it Benjo? Anybody get money from Benjo? 
Mm -hmm. Then, where are you consuming your money? Are you buying Taobao? Hmm. Taobao. Where is Taobao headquarter? Alibaba. Alibaba headquarter. Hangzhou. Okay. And the Hangzhou share about that uh, ledger. Hmm. Hmm. Something wrong. Okay. So then, what is now happening? Okay. So many of the local businesses are die. Uh -huh. And then, because there is no local businesses, many young business talent don't want to work in community. Because there is no chance. There is no business chance. So they go to Chicago, New York, LA, San Francisco. Because there must be the better opportunity. So then, we, Chantelo and community, lose a lot of Do you think this is a problem? For example, okay, by shopping at local stores, about 68% of our money spent stay in the community. Okay, why shopping at the big box stores often return in the less than the 40 30% of the money staying in the community? Hmm? However, when you shop online, it's getting worse. Is it okay? Oh, probably. Okay. So, however, if I am interested in keeping and developing our local talent, I'm not happy. This is a reason why Venture and the small rural areas lose a lot of good talent to these days. Why? The small cities or the rural cities continually lose their best talent to the bad cities. Uh, who can work for the small community? Hmm? Then what will happen? The small communities will? It's the happening. Yeah, Obera Shinkai is the only one exception in the Illinois that they keep the talent because there is a campus, there is a university. We can attract more young talent. It's okay. And however, out of the way, Obera Shinkai, okay, many of the Illinois cities, small cities that have four or some small cities, okay, Springfield, they lose their young people. Then they and a few number of the small cities, bankrupt. No service, and nobody will come to that. Hmm. Do you think that the bit does not happen in China? No, this is not happening in China too. Underdeveloped areas, rural areas, agricultural areas. Do you want to stay and do you want to work for the small cities? Why? Let's try to solve this problem. They both the same problem. How? Then we conduct external analysis and the internal analysis. Uh huh. These total analysis, five quarters, five forces. Uh -huh. Critical challenge to the community economy and all local community of local businesses are threat of the substitute by non-local businesses and the weak purchasing power of the buyers. So we conduct uh, this tunnel analysis by using the micro folders by forces. Ah, high price competition, high, okay, but how do we can do, what can we do? And the whole the entry barrier, mm -hmm. and then the bargaining power of the supplier, okay. Uh, purchasing power of the buyer is a problem. Our community buyers, our community people are relatively poor. In Chicago, what we have to Okay, purchasing power relatively low. Okay, another is set up substitute. Oh, absolutely. You can buy almost anything from Amazon.com. How about? And you can go to the Mississippi. You can go to the large mall while you make money from the community. So, according to our external analysis, these two are most critical. This is a threat. Okay. The threat 
And however, there must be the opportunity we will see. There must be opportunity. Good. From the simple external analysis, we do this. And the, however, not only this, we found the roughly number of the different external analysis we identified. Okay. Good. And then we conduct the internal analysis by using uh, which are games the value curve analysis that come from Michael Porter's value chain. Value curve analysis, we call it the value curve analysis for the internal analysis. Then we got to know this. Grand power, not big. This is our weak. Oh, weak. Okay. Marketing capability, weak. Product service relations, mm, realization, mm, okay, moderate. And price customer compensation, mm, not good. And okay, product service quality, so so. Delivery and logistics, mm, probably okay. And uh, customer relations, absolutely, the fur businesses are better in customer relations because I know you, you know me. That happens. That happens. When you go to the local restaurant, okay, so many times the owner know you. And then I know the owner because we live there. However, that kind of things can happen in Starbucks. Better brand Starbucks. So this will be our strengths. This is our weakness. This is our strengths. Then let's combine. Okay, so we have a benchmark, benchmarking. Okay, so we have many, more than 150 communities in the US have a local currency system. So then we're searching for the benchmark, for, for, for what our competitors are doing. Okay, good. Then we identify, we formulate this strategy. Here, External opportunity in growing community economy, which is fortunately Urbana Champagne is increasing the numbers of the students every year. So then, and then we attract more people outside of the community. That's a good external opportunity. That's only one exception in the world. Oh, however, how is it going? The Venture is now growing the population or losing or decreasing the population. Venture. When your population is increasing or decreasing? Increasing? Decreasing? No, oh, you need to you need to know. Okay, so we, that's the reason why we need the research. We need to study. We need to study that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there must be the external threat, threat of the non-local businesses, substitute, Walmart. Amazon, Target, online retailing, online re online wholesaling. That is coming. Okay. Oh, well, it's some opportunity. It's not a threat. Write it down. And internal strengths and the internal weakness. Okay. So internal strengths. What we are good at as a local business. We are good at relationship building with the local supplier and local customer. Uh huh. Local customer, local employer. Mm. So that's our strengths. I know you, you know me. Can we use that? Mm, sure. Okay, that's our internal strengths. Opening power, internal analysis. Okay, and then what we are weak? What is our disadvantage? Limited resources for the marketing, what CRM power, what management power, brand power, management strategy. We don't have enough resources. Can we compete with the Walmart? The small restaurant can compete with the Starbucks. No, we don't have that kind of resource. Actually, what would that's our ability? Do you want the can I compete with Walmart? That's a copy. Can I make that copy? And the Starbucks. Okay, that's our reality. Then let's combine how we can maximize our strengths, how we can utilize our relationship, good relationship with the car people, and how we can maximize our opportunity. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah, we bring a few number of ideas. 
And then out of many, I choose this. Probably we can cultivate a new market segment through good customer relationship. Market segment. Maybe we relatively untap the customer. For example, high school or middle school students, do you think they are the customer for the local businesses like a grocery store or a fruit store? If you are running a fruit store, it's more a fruit shop. Okay, so usually we think fruit, adult, your mom, your father will buy those fruit. For money, we just want a high school students need the fruit. How they can get the fruits? Do you think that the middle school or high school students enjoy the fruit? How you enjoy the fruit when you were high school students? I'm not. How did you enjoy the fruit? Do you love fruit? No, oh, fruit, fruit lover. So when you were high school students, and how did you enjoy the fruit? Did you love by yourself? Your mom. Probably. Why do you have a chance to buy your fruit by yourself? Couple? Couple. Then, why a local customer, a local person shop have the new market segment? High school students. Can we sell our fruit at the high school or the middle school? Why not? Huh? Sure, it's cool. And then maybe we, we don't need to sell in front of the school, but maybe we can come to the school and then negotiate with the school provider, school supplier, school somebody. Okay, so can we supply this kind of good quality fruits for your school? For example, okay, we can think of that. And in order to maximize opportunity and minimize the weakness, minimize, minimize, maximize, then probably we have a, we need to minimize at the limit of our resource and then maximize the opportunity. We can establish a relationship based marketing channel. Relationship based marketing channel. Hmm? Um, relationship, okay? So, for example, oh, if you introduce your friends to my to my, to my, to my father service, okay? Maybe I can give you a 10% of the time. Same, if you introduce somebody, okay? So I will give you 10% of this time. Uh-huh, same, 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 same. Okay, so then within two or three layers of the network, I can have Almost all everybody in this class, I network. Oh, that's for marketing. Probably. Do I need to pay a lot of money? No. <laughs> but this is a problem of relationship. We maximize our uh, relationship. Maybe if the changes of the relationship. Relationship and something, and because we don't have enough money, because we don't have enough money. If we have, if we have enough money, maybe I can advertise in newspaper or internet or something. Okay, but however, I do that. But there must be the opportunity of the market. Cheapest okay. mm -hmm. marketing, network marketing. Any problem? No problem. Okay, and. How we can maximize our strength and how we can minimize our strength, mm -hmm. spread of the rule or something. Okay, so then maybe we can think of supply or unique value for the local community rates. Okay, so that is a special specialty, specialization. Mm -hmm. For example, in the better campaign, we are producing a very unique community product like a sweet corn. Sweet corn or appetizer or the local product, local unique services. Oh, maybe that is only available in Urbana Champagne area. Maybe we can cultivate that kind of things in order to maximize our strengths. Oh, that is only produced in community. Mm. 
Right. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the Amazon or the Walmart will sell those kind of local products like the apple cider? And what is the most popular? What is the most uh, what is the most unique radio product? You know, what is the most unique product of radio? What is the most unique? Culturally unique or something? Anything? Huh? Dot com. Oh, okay. Okay. That's one thing. That's one thing. Okay. Dot com. Okay. So, so if I sell the dot com, can I make a lot of money? Okay. So we'll see. That's one option. And what is the most, what is the most, uh, what is the most popular, and what is the most unique product of the venture? Let me show you. you know anything about the venture product? Okay, so that's the reason why we need to study. The reason why we need to study. Okay, so if you are now wearing your glasses, glasses, okay, glasses, uh -huh. glasses, where these glasses are now manufactured and produced? You know. Oh, Venjo has a lot of market share of the glasses. Venjo produces around more than 50% of the glasses in the world. One out of glasses is manufactured and produced. And the shoes, your shoes, especially for the sneakers, oh, many of the shoes is produced. Oh, what else? Oh, so that bell is the bell. Bell. We can go hard to make a thing of bell. Bell. Uh, that is produced in here. And the uh, leisure, the closest leisure. Uh, leisure. And uh, almost 30% of the leisure product in China is produced in here. And uh, okay, so the what is the mass shoes? Unique. Unique value. Something. If we can find, we can use it. Oh, absolutely. So, glasses is related with optical engineering, optics. optics. And the optics is getting more important nowadays because this is that is related with how. We can turn around, we can transform those kind of the glasses industry into the optic engineering product technology. Well, why not? When you have the strength of that. We have many, we have more than 10,000 glasses makers in here. Hmm? Did you know that? Probably. We need to study. <coughs> Okay, good. Oh, absolutely. We can maximize the local income of strengths. Glasses, leather, bell, anything, shoes. And we can avoid the common threat with the unique value product and services. Okay, good. Then, how we can minimize the internal weakness in the internal threat by internal threat? Oh, probably we can provide the community exclusive trade and transaction. Uh, possible? Mm, we need to bring an idea. Okay, so can we encourage people to come to the local businesses? Possible? We need to bring an idea. Okay. When you people, okay, so when you residents, you are now, you are now, you are now residing in the within the venue. And how I can encourage you to become the venue local? Why you love to enjoy shopping at the Taobao or large box retailer or please 
how I can bring you to the local community. Absolutely, that is the best way. Yeah. I, I, I love to torture. However, oh, oh, if I torture you, yeah, yeah go to the window, don't go to the business, don't go to the, the power, okay. you want to come to your everything in the radio, local business. No, unfortunately, no. I want to go back. If there is any chance, I got I will put I I want to put her. But over the way. That's the reason why we also use our brain. Okay? Good. And here. How we can provide the community exclusive training and advantage? Uh -huh. So we search for this kind of things. We combine these two these things, okay? And we identify a very interesting concept of catchy hop spread. Catchy hop. Catchy hop. Catchy hop. Catch a hook. Catch a hook. What is in Chinese? Two way, two way, two way. Two way. Two way. Catch a hook. Okay. And catch a hook is over a coin box. A fox is smart. Fox. Fox is smart. <laughs> okay. And how about head? What? The head you can do. Head you hope can only. Yeah. So stand in the middle. That's it. Hiding and the head job. Okay. So then just focus on. Press. We call that a head job. And yeah, there are a few number of different strategy concepts like a prime peak. Prime peak. Do you know the prime peak? Do you believe, do you believe that the, a king can fly? King. A king can fly? Hmm? No. How many believe that? Shall we believe that they can, a king can fly? Hmm? Oh, sure. Oh. Okay, so this is one of the most popular concept. Hello, where are you? Okay, Xiaomi Frying Peak. Luji. Where is my, where is my front, front, okay, Frankie. Okay, Xiaomi believed, the Xiaomi CEO believed. Ah, uh, no. Whatever, please see that. So Xiaomi CEO, Lu, Lu Jin, Lu Jin, okay. And he believed if there is a big external changes, like a storm, if there is a big storm, Okay, even though a pig can take the storm and a pig can fly. That is the reason why the shall we go. If there is any storm or the wind or changes in the market, shall we jump in and That's how shall we make the business. If there is any storm, trends, changes, radical changes, radical demand, shall we jump in and fly? Even though you don't have a capability of fly, but you can fly if you take a storm change. 
Okay, so that's a fine peak strategy. However, in here, we focus on the hedge hawk strategy. We just focus on our strengths. We just focus on our strengths. How we can focus on our strengths? Strength of strengths here. Customer English. Can we focus on this? Oh, yeah, also that. I, I can afford this. I can compete with it, like, this kind of a gap. No, of Maybe. How we can improve the internal strengths of our local business? So, question again. Then. We studied a lot. Okay. Hmm. We studied a lot, and then we really say, let's cultivate and organize highly networked local customers who are oriented to the community value and of local business. That was our strategy. So our conceptual strategy, we want to develop highly network, all network marketing. I told you you know her, you don't know her, okay, network, and network, and local customers who are value, the community value. Okay. So oh, I want to contribute to this because I love thank you. Awesome. Oh, we will see. How many the value and the local businesses? Mm, sure. Then how we can do that? Then we benchmark. We search for the cases. We search for the world class cases, or the local cases, or domestic cases. We search for many information. How we can exercise this strategy? Mm -hmm. Then we get to know this. Okay. First, oh, first. I searched before I studied, I researched about the why is the best way to realize this idea. And then I proposed, oh, why we can produce at the local credit card? Have you ever heard about the local credit card? Why when you bank, do you know that the window bank to be that the window has a window bank, window local bank? Mm -hmm. When your local bank usually work for window community. Good. Why is when your local bank? Uh, pro, uh, the proposed and then uh, proposed the uh, credit card wait for rental community, rental business. Whenever you use that rental credit card and the rental bank will give you a return of two or three percent of the other entity. And that kinds of the money can be used to support the rental business, local businesses. Oh, nice. And uh, we have that kinds of the local credit card system around the world. It worked. So I proposed that. And fortunately, I got money from the University of Illinois, $15,000 to that kind to do that kind of things. However, unfortunately, I totally bankrupt it. Because I didn't know the in the US, many credit card credit card transaction. Is totally controlled by many different transaction makers. So there is no universal credit card transaction system. So then, whenever I want to apply a credit card in this store, in that store, I must pay another, 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 another. Wow. So unfortunately, I will get all $15,000. Because oh, I didn't know that. I was stupid. Mm, bankrupt. <laughs> mm. Okay. So I was totally disappointed. And one day, my friend said there, oh, she shared this idea. Oh, why we don't need to use that the credit card for the Why we can print money? Right? Print money. Is it okay? Oh. It's okay in the US. Oh, in the US, you cannot duplicate the coin, but you can print paper money if that looks different from dollars. It's illegal. It's okay. 
Then I searched for that kind of the local currency system. And I got to know we have in the US, we have more than 150 different communities who are using the local currency. Okay, and there is an advantage if somebody exchange their dollars with local currency. Oh, that kind of money should be used only within the certain community, right? Mm, sure. When your money can be only circulated in Linda, especially for the when your local businesses who made a contract, who has a good relationship with the local currency system. Okay. For example, if you want to use that that kind of money at the Amazon, oh, Amazon is taking this kind of money? No. And the Walmart will take this money? No. Starbucks will take this money? No. But only local businesses who has a relationship with the local, the local currency system, they will accept this money. And then when they got this money, they come to local business system, local currency system, and they can exchange. Local money with dollars. Okay, so this is the largest local money system, bulk share. Candy uh, bulk share, can can bulk, bulk share. Okay, bulk share Massachusetts. They have the largest local currency system in the U.S. And uh, these are the, all my visits. And uh, this is Baltimore note. And uh, this, this was to be the Toronto dollar. And this is a Minnesota 20 bay box. And then there's something else. Okay. So then, mm, you know, the Baltimore and the Potomac dollars, Washington, DC, and the NC Plenty Chapel in the North Carolina, North Carolina. And they have this kind of thing. And I studied. And then I visited every this kind of community. Who are using the local currency? And I love them. Listen to them. I love them. Possible. Why not in the organization? Okay. <coughs> oh, not in here. Okay. Okay. Not in here. Okay. All right. And then we, organization A, local currency system, we started to print our money under the name of the UCS. UCS. Whenever you need to use the money, okay, it's my turtle. And then S miles is extra miles. We go to the extra miles for our community. So we printed that money. And fortunately, uh, the general and the I got the, I got twenty five thousand dollars. Fortunately, and the donors and the school. And a lot of the community workers and they donate money, twenty five thousand dollars. We start the business, and then we started the way only only to work the businesses, and within three years, that is becoming the three hundred. Oh, so three hundred more than three hundred local businesses started to take in that local currency. Hmm. Sure. Then we get to know how much money is circulating within the. Because we know how much money is not so oh, We keep our portfolio stores. And there is another byproduct, for example. Oh, I didn't expect that. There is a very interesting byproduct of a lot of the different feedback. Oh, many parents give this money to their kids, middle school students or high school students. Oh, because Local businesses usually know their key. And the local businesses never sell a bad product like a smoking, tobacco, or wrong. They never sell that kind of things because they know their key. So then, then you have to just, just let their keys have this local concept. And the keys usually come to the local businesses. Hello, can I have a key? No. <laughs> Can I smoke? No. Mm. Can I get a soda? Mm, yes, probably. And how far with a better food? Big water. Pleasure, customer, relationship. That's why we want to use this. Possible? Mm. Possible. 
Okay, this is how we use this swap framework. Swap framework is just giving us a very fundamental strategy thinking. Need more. Study more. Exercise more. Absolutely, we fail. I fail. I lost. I bet on me. Second chance, hmm, opportunity we can make some things. Better. This is our one. Good. Nice conceptual framework to organize a few number of the strategic options, but we need to go for it. Okay, that is how we formulate our strategy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, what is the purpose of the strategy counting? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Okay, so then in business, okay, we call that is a business strategy. Business, okay. In general, the, the purpose of the strategy management is to create and sustain the competitive advantage. And what is the exact meaning of the competitive advantage in business level or corporate level? Okay, business level. Here, I have a question. What laptop do you have? Why did you do that? Okay, Ryan, what laptop are you using? Mac, MacBook, what? MacBook Air Pro? MacBook Pro, okay, why? Uh huh. Okay, we'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Eddie, what kind of laptop are you using now? Uh, Air. Why? Operating system. Operating system is good. From moving. Okay. Hello. What kind of laptop are you using? What kind of notebook are you using? How's your computer? Think that? Sure. Okay. Why did you choose that? Why did you buy that? It, it is a suitable for the business. Probably, but you are not a business yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chita, what kinds of laptop are you using? HP. Okay. Why? Why did you choose that laptop? Why did you choose that computer? Okay, good. That's really simple. We are business. Uh -huh. Customers. Why customers buy a product? Why did you buy an Apple? Why somebody did not buy the Apple product? Why somebody buy the Android or the Microsoft? Here, we make it simple. This, for example, MacBook, Dell, Lenovo, HP. Uh -huh. Here, MacBook is cheap or expensive? MacBook is relatively expensive. Okay, good. Mm, good. So, the MacBook is more popular in general. Oh, our school students are totally exceptional. In general, what kinds of Mac, what kinds of laptop people are using more? What is the market share of Mac in China? No more than 20%, just 10%. Huh? Okay. And then that means more than 71 80% of the market share is occupied by non-Mac. Non-Mac. Okay. So relatively market share is low. However, there will be ton of investment. For example, are you happy in using a MacBook? Mm, great. Are you happy to use the MacBook relatively? Okay. Why you are happy? It's convenient. Okay. Usually, MacBook give you your extraordinary user experience. Okay, which experience is we call that is a return on investment. You invest in MacBook, 
and that you get more return, and you get more happier, and that you get more better future experiences. That is the reason why you choose MacBook. Okay, good, good. On the other hand, there are a lot of mm -hmm. There are a lot of more, but don't take that kind of things, okay? It's cheap. Okay, so I just spend only half of the 50% of the price of the MacBook, MacBook, and then I'm okay. And they are doable. They are one level. Okay, think fair. Okay, that's beautiful. That's good for business. Mm, I'm okay. Market share by economy investing on the high. However, what is happening between HP? Oh, so HP laptop gone. Oh. Is anybody who are using the HP laptop here except China? Probably you have, oh, HP too. Okay, good. Okay. Is there anybody who are using the Sony laptop? Sony? No. Is there anybody who are using the Asus? Oh, oh just one or two. And is there anybody who are using the Sankuma? Not much. Okay, so let's think of this. Who are using the iPhone mini? iPhone. Okay, who are using the Android phone like Oppo, Huawei, Oppo, Vivo? Okay, good. And they said that if you are using the Samsung phone, why not? And around the five or six years ago, Samsung has around the 35% of the market share in China. Where the Samsung? And the Sony, is anybody who are using the Sony handphone, Sony mobile phone? Sony, no, Nokia? Where are they? Okay, very nice. So, technically speaking, in business level, we have only these two cases. How we can conceptualize these two cases? Oh, then we can think of this as a competitive advantage of business, right? Mm. Only when we have this kind of a competitive advantage, we can survive within our market. And we identify this is our two competitive advantage of business. When we have a focus of differentiated value, differentiated user experience, differentiating the level of the quality of service or product like Apple, uh -huh. we invest in money. We invest in this special voice value. Apple. IPhone, MacBook, okay, focus and the differentiated value is one competitive advantage in the level of the business. Okay, I do not I do not talk about it, the competitive advantage in general. Business competitive advantage must be it's very unique focus, differentiated user experience or the Value per customer. Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Why? Why do you love Louis Vuitton? Right? Okay. On the other hand, cost of leadership. The cheaper, the better. The cheaper and the affordable quality, cheaper. Price competition, price war, or market, how about it? Why do we buy a lot of things from the Taobao? Because that's cheap. And are you looking for the best quality at the Taobao? No, I'm going to go to Jimmy if I want to search for the best, better quality. Mm -hmm. Why I go to Taobao? cheaper. Well, wow. I can't get the cost of leadership. Shampoo, mm, especially for the man. Mm -hmm. uh, very strong. But are you using shampoo? Mm, what kind of brand are you using? Uh, Chakra? Safeguard. Safeguard. Okay, why did you choose that? Uh, Any reason? Brand? Safeguard that has a big brand? In that 
No, because that's okay. And relatively is cheap, affordable, accessible. Okay, and where did you buy that? How about or where to go to the market? Oh, sure. And uh, at the market, why did you choose that? It looks okay, it's cheap, and then, oh, I'm familiar with that, it's accessible. Thank you. I, did you choose that uh, safeguard, the, the shampoo, because of the high quality? Can you distinguish the quality of the shampoo as a man? No. The voice, man. We cannot identify the different quality of the shampoo. Shampoo is a shampoo. No difference for us. What do you expect from the stupid voice? We never distinguish the population. So, this is all. Me, 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 voice, me, me. Why we choose that kind of product? Accessibility. Convenience. That's it. Any others? No. Sure. So, however, if you are the little little, like Samsung phone, do you want to use Samsung for this expensive with the very with the lower quality? No. And do you want to use the Nokia? HD? Not much. I'm sorry. Any reason to choose this kind of the little the little little band? No, no, no. Is that would be common investment. It must be cheaper, cheaper the better. Always any price, always the lowest price as a warm art or not the style. How about on the other hand, very unique, focus the differentiation and wisdom, charm, design, estil, anything else? What is that? What is the cosmetic something? So, oh, sure. Expensive. But, why do you have a Porsche? I have a Benz. BMW. Here, there is no need about something. Sometimes borders here. Oh, why the Japanese car is now down? Put it in here. Not high rent like German car. Not cheaper than uh, other other cars. Oh, in in China, why you do not have enough number of the Japanese cars? Because you hate Japan. No, because Japan Japanese car is in here. You you have no reason to buy Japanese car. If you want to search for the high quality of something, German car. If you want to search for the wholesome leadership cheaper than something, oh, Chinese box. You need to choose that Japanese box? No. So, simply saying, focus differentiated value is competitive advantage. And then, cost leadership is another competitive advantage in business level. No more. No more. Nothing else. No. Tao, Tian, Di, Zhang, Pa. No. Bullshit. That's a conceptual understanding. In business, we have only two competitive advantages. And actually, this is proposed by Michael Ford. In business world, we have only two competitive advantages. Differentiated value, cost, leadership. Okay? And then I roughly go to how we can make this to competitive advantage in business level. Cost advantage and differentiated advantage. Differentiation advantage. Okay. They come from the Michael Porter's competitive strategy, our father of strategy management. Oh, he proposed that the Michael Porter's by versus. He proposed that the model analysis of the value. Value, 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 and he proposed that the competitive advantage of the business also advantage differentiation advantage also advantage provided a similar product service to the customers at the lower cost and competitor. The lower, the better, with the same or affordable quality. Differentiation advantage provided a very unique 
product or service to customer that justify up price premium. Oh, is there any vendor premium or vendor discount? Well, Nicole, what is your home now? Handle problems, okay. Handle problems, see? Okay. Handle, handle has advantage or the discount in terms of the form, in, in terms of the, your redness. Why did somebody say, okay, okay, I got that kind, that kind of product or service from Handle? Is it good or bad? No good, not bad. Probably. However, why did somebody, somebody say, oh, I got this product from Shanghai? Premium or discount? Okay, probably. And somebody say, oh, I got this from Venue. It's a premium or discount? Uh -huh. Think of it. Brand uh -huh, can give us a premium or discounts. So that, that's the reason why we need to help our virtual community. Ah, okay. And the Apple. Somebody say, okay, so I bought this from the Apple. Premium or discount? Oh, I got this from Google. Mm. Mm. It was a fun Anyway, so there is a focus differentiation and the cost leadership. And then the cost leadership example is here. Is here. Uh, industry, so company examples, we have this kind of the cost leaders, price leaders. Always these kind of the companies provide the best cost leadership, price, best price. Or shall we? Southwest Airlines and the world, Alibaba. How about Dell, Hyundai, Kia, Dow Chemical? Not big brand, but over the day, it was the most affordable product and services. It's a cheaper price economy. And also leadership, uh, starting with a good product that is acceptable. <laughs> okay, maybe you can meet this. And also leaders, they intend to have the leaders for many sources, which is the moment of the part of the organization. Yeah. Okay, and drivers of the post of entity, this is our, yeah. this is our sources of the post of entity, economy of scale, economy of money, process technology, product design, goals, capacity, utilization, medical efficacy, yeah. this kind of stuff. Temporary strategy, post leadership. Can you say that? Okay. Oh, I don't want to go keep it, I don't want to go to detail. Okay. So then we just see how we can exercise, how we can support the post leadership. Okay. Post advantage. Okay. There are a number of different approaches. So, how maybe we can apply for the business of the value chain? How we can Secure the cost advantage by using the value chain and the five forces and the balance scorecard. Okay, so this is my computer framework. By using this kind of the easily understood conceptual framework, maybe we can achieve our cost advantage. No matter what the aim is, cost advantage. Okay, also leadership. Maybe we can use this kind of things. And then formulating the strategy for differentiation, differentiation advantage, differentiation strategy. Focus the differentiated forms or the value of product services. Uh, we have an uh, example of iPhone, Martin Vita, BMW Benz, Lexus, Acura, and Maxwell, Nordstrom, GoPro, Cannondale, Honda, Goldwing, Motorbike. Of Sherry, Chanel, Louis Vuitton. How we can do that? Mm, absolutely. Brand, technology, innovation, cool future, cool customer service. This is science? No, this is art. Art. Why people love to buy the Louis Vuitton? Because of the best quality, best price? No, that made me happy. 
people. That made me happy. That brand gave me a very differentiated value. And I can differentiate myself from other people because I have a really fun thing. Don't you think? Because I drive a band, oh, I feel luxury. I can distinguish myself from the general because I'm a band. Differentiation. Cool. Art. This is not science. Oh, I will say again, business is not just a science. Business is a scientific art. Cost leadership usually comes from the science, numbers, but revenue, what? Value, what? Differentiated something is come from art, human touch, customers, people. Differentiation of banking. Okay, of course, we can use this kind of framework in order to make a differentiation balance. You know? Differentiation focus. Mm -hmm. Then we can combine these two. Differentiation and of course, leadership competitive advantage. And then absolutely, we can combine these two. Possible? By using technology. That's the reason why we use technology. And geographic advantage, global education. And then we can use that in the industrial life cycle. Hmm. We have this kind of stuff. Multiple strategy approaches. Our one thing here. We want to create something competitive advantage. In business, competitive advantage is differentiation, value. Focus or cost or price. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is all. Okay, so maybe that's all I need to cover. Okay, swap in the Michael Porter's competitive strategy. We love that. Excels. No, we will go forward. We will go forward. This M A. Okay. So please read your exam guide. That's it. Okay. Good then. Any question? So far. So next Wednesday, okay, C423, A20, okay, we will have the exam. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you next month, next Wednesday.